hey everyone welcome back to my channel um in this video i'm going to teach you guys how to do this lovely nail set i have done it on myself and also on my clients and i'm telling you i get compliments everywhere i go so let's get started okay so here i already have the nails prepped i have glued on some clear stiletto tips i am just trimming the tip of the nail um, to the length i would want I'm using a regular nail clipper, but you could also use the nail tip cutters. Um, stiletto shape is very easy to make into coffin, so that's why I'm using those tips. Okay, so here I already filed the sides, um, making it into a nice coffin shape. I am filing the nail tip to the natural nail, just blending it in usually do this with other um, nail tips like a natural or like um, a white depending on the nails that you're doing um, I know some nail techs don't like to do this when they're doing clear nail tips just because the design that they're doing um, you know filing the nail tip might scratch up the nail and mess up the design but since I'm not really doing that much clear design um, I am filing and blending in that artificial nail to the natural nail. Once I'm done with that, I just brush off any dust. And you don't have to do this on a fake hand, but um, if you're with a client, it's a live person, you know, um, you would want to use protein bond, um, also like dehydrator or primer. Um, so right here I'm using protein bond by Young Nails. I am using the, I don't know if it's called Sherry or Cherry. I usually just say Sherry and, um, I'm also using, I believe it was 18 sides Kalinsky brush. Um, I am adding some glitter um, acrylic to all these nails. There's no polish except for the gel top coat. So I am starting off with this um, nice blue glitter acrylic powder and I kind of add little by little when I'm using this glitter since it's so chunky um, it looks like a lot but it's really not it's not that much so I'm taking my time just adding little by little and just fading it towards the tip of the nail just because I want to create an ombre and leave the tip of the nail um, clear Now here I'm just adding a little bit more just to make it look like a little fade, like the nice ombre look. I don't want to make it look like a blunt line to where the glitter stops. Um, sometimes I do apply little pieces of glitter in certain areas that look too empty or certain areas that look like it has a bunch. I would take some away. Um, but yeah, so just play with it and you'll get it right. Okay, so for the index now, I am using this blue color. I am using the color on the cuticle area. I am applying the bead more wet than I would usually apply. Um, the only reason is because the next color I want to add to the nail, I want it to blend in a little bit more without me having to actually move it around a lot. Um, I do want to be able to move the acrylic around the nail to where I could control how it looks and not make it look too wet and muddy um, to where the marble effect is nowhere to be found. So what I am doing is I'm applying a little bit of acrylic little by little, blending it down. I do not want like a clear look. So I am trying to cover the full nail and make it into a marble effect. So for that, I am using um, beads of acrylic more wet than I would usually use them um, Now to define the marble I do go in with a darker blue color 
and just make the marble lines now um, I do like glitter a lot so I do add a lot of it but if there are any empty spaces I go ahead and I cover it with any blue or more um, acrylic that has glitter I am looking at the sides of the nail just so that um, I know I didn't miss any spot if I do see any spots that I miss I would go ahead and just cover those spots as well right there I see on the tip of the nail and in the middle of the nail it's kind of empty so I am adding a little bit more color and I am playing around with it a little bit to where it actually looks still like a marble effect and that's how it looks so for the middle finger I'm actually getting the same blue that I used on the other nail I am applying it towards the cuticle area with this color I'm gonna try my best to blend it down and not make it look blunt in the middle of the nail the reason why is because I'm going for an ombre look now for ombre many people have um, told me that they can't get the blend well well the reason why is sometimes it looks very like a blunt ombre just because you don't blend the bottom color towards the tip um, as much you'll leave it too dark in the middle so what I like to do is I like getting um, either three or four beads I don't usually um, cover the full sides of the nail just because since it's an ombre I could actually use the other color to blend up um, but I do make sure that it's very faded and blended on the tip instead of it being um, thick on the tip and then I go ahead with my second color of choice and I just blend it up um, I would be blending as much as I can but then I don't want to blend too much to where it goes back up to the cuticle area now for this I am actually using two different colors I am using the darker blue on the tip of the nail I am using the lighter chunky glitter um, on the middle to blend in creating an ombre with the light blue color um, I do like to move around um, I move my brush around just to create that nice um, blend and once you have the blend you like um, you don't have to keep doing anything just there you go there it is look at that ombre <laughs> okay so for the ring finger I am getting the blue um, near the cuticle area and I'm blending it down not all the way down to the tip just down still on the nail bed and um, I'm also adding the dark blue um, chunky glitter and just fading it down kind of creating like a marble look but not fully um, I'm also wanting to do that ombre look so on the tip of the nail I'm also adding that blue I'm getting the lighter um, chunky glitter I'm adding some to that and blending it as well to make it look into like an ombre like a sideways ombre and then in the middle I also want it to look like a marble but I want it to be sheer I don't want it to be too dark like the pointer finger um, right there I just want to dab a little bit of the blue and the light chunky glitter and just mix it around like swirl it around a little bit um, but I still want that clear look I still want to be able to see through the nail in little spots um, so I want it to be like messy to like a, a marble and then an ombre look um, so with glitter I'm just moving around and just making it look nice now for this nail I am adding a full glitter nail um, I am gonna be using both glitters I believe I will be using the dark blue on the cuticle area um, I don't want it to look see-through so I'm going for a, a very um, chunky look to where you could only see glitter um, I'm adding the blue to the cuticle area and then I'm adding the lighter blue to the tip of the nail and just blending those in so it's gonna be like an ombre glitter nail um, just like the middle finger but without the light blue color just pure glitter and um, 
like I mentioned before, I want to go for a dark, chunky look. I don't want to see through the nail. I just want it to be like a, a nice glitter nail. Here I'm just making sure I didn't leave any empty spaces, um, any see-through areas, so I'm just covering the nail more with glitter. So here I am going to be capping all the nails with clear acrylic powder. I am using the um, Rock Hard LMP Nail Powder by Artistic Nail Design. Um, I am using the VIP Clear. I am adding one bead of acrylic to the tip of the nail just because since it's a clear look on the tip of the nail I want it to look very nice. I don't want to have it um, divided if the acrylic does dry halfway there. Um, once I'm done capping the tip of the nail I'm going to go ahead and do the cuticle area. Um, Near the cuticle area, I'm going to just apply a bead and then let it um, just flow right in. Just let it um, flow down to the tip of the nail. Work your magic side to side, middle. And if you need more, just apply a little bit more. Now remember, holding the hand at an angle would help you. Gravity would just pull that acrylic down to where it needs to go and it'll be less filing as soon as you get that technique um, mastered you're gonna no longer need to file as much as you were filing before so after um, the acrylic is applied I will be using uh, my Koopa nail drill um, I'm using this um, nail bit. I will be leaving the links below and if not the links I will be leaving um, maybe the Instagram of where you could find the products I'm using. Um, but this is like a cuticle bit. I am using this um, to clean around the cuticle area. I do like to blend the nail um, nicely like around the cuticle area. I don't like it to look bumpy or anything so um, this is what this um, bit is for it's for that nice flush cuticle look now once you've um, filed the cuticle area and you see that the shape is nice around the cuticle um, I do go in with a safety bit. The safety bit, um, I like it. It's um, it's really good. You have no chance of cutting your client with this. Like I've never cut a client with any bit before, um, especially not this one since it's a safety bit. So it doesn't hurt at all. Um, now if you do put the bit on the client. Um, as if you were filing it um, or filing an L, it would hurt. But um, near the cuticle area, there's no problem. Um, like I said, I would be leaving the links below or the info of where to find all these products. Um, now here I'm using the No Wipe um, Sherry Top Coat. Um, I believe I got this at um, Skyline Beauty. Um, I will be leaving their website down below as well. I really love this. It's one of my favorite top coats, to be honest. The shine lasts for a while. Um, and they also have it in matte. So you could use the matte gel top coat or the regular non-wipe gel top coat. It's um, UV and LED cured. Um, but yeah, and right here I'm just going to be applying the top coat to all nails. After I apply the top coat to all the nails, I will be curing in my gelish lamp for um, 30 seconds and once that is done there is no need to wipe with alcohol um, now for the clear nail which was the thumb and I believe it is the index or the ring finger I think <laughs> um, I will be applying um, gel top coat 
to the bottom of the nail as well just because it's clear it's going to look way better um, applying it to the top of the nail and the bottom it gives it a better nice um, like a way better look it's just it's more clear it looks more like glass so like you'll see the difference um, right there I'm applying the t um, the gel to the tip of the nail after that I'm just gonna go ahead and cure now I know this is a practice hand but um, I love the rose oil from young nails um, I'm applying a little bit um, you would be doing this with um, your client um, I know I'm crazy this is like a fake hand um, but yeah so this is a set we are done I love that clear it's it's been a set that a lot of people have been asking for um, and when I do do this set on them they just really love it I've had it myself as well um, everywhere I go, I would always get compliments on this set. I actually had, um, Swarovski crystals on them, but, um, I didn't do it on this video, but I'll probably, um, have a link below to my other Instagram where you could check that out. Now, my personal nail page is Nails by Medina. If you want to go ahead and follow me on, um, my Twitter and my Instagram, I also do have the Dear Nikki M page on Twitter and Instagram as well. I don't use it as much just because I haven't been uploading, but hopefully soon I will be uploading at least three times a week and um, you guys would be able to see all these nice nail sets that I've created over the past couple years. Um, but like I said, I am more active on my Nails by Medina page if you want to go ahead and give that a follow. Um, you could also message me there. I will be posting more things on my instagram thank you guys all for watching please like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys would want to see next also hit me up on my social media message me there till next time bye